and welcome to Waffle TV. I'm Alice and I'm here with Dame Elaine Montgomery who is in a beautiful show that is from the period of Louis... The 15th. 15th. Louis Cairns. Yes. Louis Cairns. Could you tell us a little bit about the show? Yes, I can. It's the story of the life of Madame de Pompadour, how she rose from a very ordinary bourgeois background to become the mistress of the king, which was unheard of. They were always titled ladies who took this very important position of mistress of France. Mm -hmm. And it was predicted she was taken to a fortune teller, and we reenact this on the play in the play right early in the piece. At the age of nine, she's taken to a fortune teller by her mother, and the fortune teller is amazed to tell her that she's going to become the mistress of the king. And her mother aids and abets in every way. She's not going to leave it all to destiny. Chats. But then uh, Madame de Pompadour, which is really La Mar the, she's the Marquise de Pompadour. Louis makes her a Marquise first and then a Duchess. But she's always known as Madame de Pompadour. She, but she says in the play, I am not a mere Madame de Pompadour. I am the Marquise de Pompadour. But she, the play is how she rose. From, it's the story of her life at the end of her life, looking back through her words uh, and memories, she reenacts and tells the story of how it all happened, how she became not only mistress of the king and kept his love. It's a love story. He adored her. Mm. And uh, he, she managed to keep his love. She was like Scheherazade. She had to keep him entertained all the time, to stop him being entertained elsewhere. And uh, she, um, she became terribly important in French history because she became the most powerful woman in the land. She ran the country. She became virtually the prime minister of the state because they were also feckless. They were also useless. And there was no one else to take over. And she was very extravagant. Uh, she uh, had palaces built for her and um, she had many, many paintings done of her. And we have a sumptuous set which is the, um, um, it, it represents Versailles with beautiful gilt furniture and lovely props and things and this, the set is enormous and sumptuous. So it's the pic it is yeah. beautiful. And the lighting is amazing. It's not just me, it's the production. Catherine Parker has done the most wonderful production of this play. It is a major production. There are over a hundred lighting, sound and music cues in the play. And we use the music of Rameau, who was contemporary to her. Um, it's punctuated with music, uh, w w with a different lighting, different atmosphere, you know. It seems like you really bring to life the period. Well, it is. We bring to life the period and we bring her to life. Mm. Her, her amazing, scintillating life story. But it was a tough life. She had a lot of enemies and this comes out too. She uh, had to fight hard to, uh, to keep her position. And she had a lot of people who hated her and called her common. And um, well, it's a remarkable rise. Though. Yes, and she, you see, she was actually a, a very uh, cultured and cultivated lady. She had, she had a very uh, uh, influential and very wealthy godfather, who paid for her to have a very expensive, exclusive education in Paris, and she was trained. Uh, for the stage, she was trained to sing, to play the harpsichord, to dance, to have deportment, elocution, all these things. She was trained. She was trained in all the um, the accomplishments of a noble lady. But then, she had to have the opportunity to move in noble circles, mm -hmm. and this comes out in the play. How did they achieve that? Mm -hmm. And they did, and she. Uh, her mother devises this amazing way. I'm not going to give it away because it, it's true. Everything in the play is absolutely true. It's taken from all the books. It's a remarkable story. And it's a wonderful story of how the mother devises uh, a way of her uh, meeting, chance meeting with the king. And it's, it's very exciting how this happens. And then they meet again where she happens to be able to go to this amazing fancy dress ball 
at Versailles. And he, in the meantime, has been making inquiries about this lady that he keeps seeing in this unusual circumstance, which I won't go into Thank because you. it's a lot of fun how her mother devises this extraordinary way of her drawing attention to him. And uh, he said, well, who is this? Who is this lovely creature? She was very, very beautiful in her youth, rem remarkably beautiful. And uh, she had all the accomplishments of a noble lady, and he was interested to, uh, to find out more about her. And then he meets her at this uh, ball, and uh, the rest is history. Yes. <laughs> and did he keep a queen as well? Or oh yes, he, she was. Now it was interesting because uh, this actually comes out in the full length of the play because we've had to cut the play for the fringe, mm. cut it dramatically, mm. and learning the cuts, I can tell you, has been more difficult than learning the original oh, play. Yeah. Yes. And it's quite a long play to start with. And the first act used to be 57 minutes, and I never leave the stage. And we then cut it to 52 minutes, but now it's been cut drastically, and there's no interval, so it's one hour, tw 20 minutes on the go, oh, with not yes. leaving the stage. Wow. Well, I do leave, actually, for a couple of quick changes. I imagine it helps keep the intensity, though. Yes, think, yes, yeah. and I, I do leave the stage just for uh, a couple of very quick changes. But, um, well, one a ma major quick change. Because the costumes are incredible. Oh, well, they, these costumes. Now, this dress. Please do a spin for us. Yes, I'll do a spin. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. This dress is uh, a replica of the, what they, of both the dresses. I only wear two in this. In the original, I wear three. But this dress is a replica of uh, a Boucher painting of her, which is on the stage. So when you see me on the stage, I'm in exactly the same dress as Pompadour is in this enormous gilt frame painting. And then when I'm in the pink dress, there's the other Boucher picture, and I'm in the pink dress of the Boucher picture, oh, which is, is, is stunning. They were made, there were three originally. Uh, there's a red dress, which I don't wear for this, because I change into that in the interval, which is non-existent. But, um, the, the dresses were all designed by three different uh, designers and created by three different uh, dressmakers. And um, they, each one has its own Character, beauty uh, characteristics, yes. And you've got the, the paintings that have the dresses in and they're on stage. On stage, oh, yes. Lovely. Yes, and it's quite fascinating. Almost really. like you've popped out of a picture. That's right, that's it's right. Beautiful. But, uh, no, it's... Uh, I, I, I mean, I love the dresses, mm. and I love the venue where we're playing at the EICC. Yes. It's a huge, gorgeous stage, and you, you know, you can, you can use the stage because there's so much space, mm. and all these big dresses, the yes. huge, lovely gilt furniture. They, they lived big as well. Yes, they so did. It's lovely to have oh, that space absolutely. Sort of. it, it, it suggests. Versailles, lovely gilt frame mm. furniture, gilt furniture, beautiful furniture. Come see the furniture, <laughs> furniture, <laughs> and the dresses. <laughs> furniture and the dresses. Yes, yes it's, um, yeah. it's the joy of my life because I commissioned this play to be written for me. Mm. Um, I'd never done a one woman show and I always wanted to. Yes. Lots of friends of mine have done them. So I thought, well, why can't I do one? And it all came through Scottish country dancing. Oh, did it? I'm an addict. I absolutely <laughs> love Scottish country dancing. When I'm not doing anything else, I'm dancing. Oh, that's wonderful. I dance all the time. I, I, and I'm very good at it, although I say it myself. <laughs> well, quite good. Let me say I'm quite good. But I have been trained in Scotland I, uh, for the, uh, uh, the RSCDS in uh, St Andrews. I've been to there to, be tr to train. And it was a Scottish country dancing friend who uh, gave me for my birthday a copy, of course, of um, the only portrait de la Tour did of Pompadour at the end of her life. And it's in my bedroom, where I moved down to Eastbourne from London, and it's in my bedroom over the mantelpiece. And she became real to me. Mm. I, I almost started talking to her. Um, I mean, it was, it was quite mystical, really. And I suddenly thought, Nobody in my lifetime, as far as I know, has ever written a play about this lady in English. Mm. And they have in France, I know they have in France, but nobody has ever done a one-woman show about her. And I thought, 
I've got a nugget of gold here. <laughs> and so I commissioned another Scottish country dancer, Elizabeth Woodman, who was a brilliant writer, to write this one-woman show for me. She was over the moon. So she came up with this uh, play, and I loved it. I, um, I was then playing Lady Bracknell in The Importance of Being Earnest at the Devonshire Park Theatre in our lovely Victorian theatre in Eastbourne. And Catherine Parker was directing it, and I wanted her, and only her, to direct me in this. And so I invited her up to a party, actually, and showed her the portrait, and said, might you be interested to direct me in this play? And she said, I might. Send me the script. So I sent her the script, and we were both praying she would like it. She rang me. She said, I absolutely love it. And she did say the other night, I must say, it really was music to my soul, because she said to me the other night, when she, she came to a night, I keep thinking it's night, it's a day performance at 12 o'clock. She saw it yesterday, because they'd been back uh, in, in, in England, and she came up on uh, Wednesday, and she saw the play on, uh, uh, on Thursday. And she said, um, every time I see this play, I love it more and more. So I was very pleased about that. Yes, it was lovely yeah. to hear that from the director, that she still is very enthusiastic about the play. It's a wonderful story. But it's just a wonderful but story that the way awesome everything told. fitted in together, mm. you know, and uh, her husband, Jeff Parker, is our um, production manager. He builds the set. He's the um, he's the power. We wouldn't be able to do it without either of them. I mean, the three of us, Catherine, Elizabeth and I, not one of us would be able to do it without the other. No. And none of us could do it without Jeff, because he builds the set mm. and arranges everything. He's the... Uh, so he created all the furniture as well? And, and no, the f uh, that was designed, what we would have is designed by Catherine, what we would oh, have, and uh, that was bought at auction. Okay. And uh, uh, yes, it's a very expensive production. Oh, I, I, can, I, I can imagine. <laughs> it's it a very sumptuous, so, expensive so yes. production. But uh, I love it, and I I love this venue here. It's um, it's the it's the grandeur of it and yes. the size of it. It goes with the play, and uh, I wouldn't want to do it anywhere else. No. I think. And could you tell us when we can see your, your well? Show? There are only two more performances, which is tomorrow, Saturday at 12, and Sunday at 12. Okay. So, uh, yes, I hope people will come and uh, enjoy it. Everybody who's been to see it is really quite wowed by the play. It's a beautiful play. It's not just me, please, <laughs> it's not just me. It, it's just such a wonderful play. And it's so cleverly devised. And the story is so gradually told in such an interesting way, with all this music of Rama, who was, you know, contemporary to her. And, um, it, it, it has a lot of humour and a lot of fun. And it's got drama, really very dramatic and very poignant in parts. So it's got every emotion in it. Actually, it's an actress's dream. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm so glad it's, it's come here and I'm so looking forward to seeing it. Well, I'm so pleased you're coming on Sunday. Yes. yes, yes. Well, I hope everyone can make it. It just sounds beautiful. Thank you so much, Elaine. And, and all the very best. It's been lovely meeting you. You too. You too. A real pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're watching Waffle TV. <laughs>